it's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The professionals are quaking in their boots. With the many videos out there of people that excel in their sport, there's a series as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. December's videos are coming to you from the palace here in Fitchburg on the lower part of Daniel Street. And this is what it is. And when I first saw the pictures of this, I figured this was a theater at one point because the front looks a little fancy. That's because this was a theater. And in the 50s, it closed. Strangely, in the 50s, it closed because theaters were in the golden age at that point. And to prevent people from vandalizing the building, there's been a mural put up there. It's about Fitchburg. That nice little park here park here. So what we're going to do now is go into the palace and have a look around. And no, it looks like it's fairly well kept up, but no, this is not a vacant storefront. I think this is part of the new palace. Let's go inside and see what we got. Here we are inside. We go up a flight of steps. And this is the getting to be world famous palace lanes. Here are the first 10 of 20 alleys. And they're closed off right now, but if you go, if you were to go up the stairs, there's another set of 10 up there. Restrooms, you kind of see that in the videos. And up here we have, let's see what this is. Oh, this is where they have lockers and storage. Keep the door closed. It's not closed. It's okay. Concessions, shoe rental, and everything is right there. Candy machine with no candy. And concessions at the bottom. We got our rates here, 350 per string, buck 50 for a shoe rental. And again, here are the lanes. It is now time to watch me suck at bowling. The following presentation is not really being brought to you by Tropicana Pure Squeezed Orange Juice. Good for your heart. Good for your lanes. We are looking at the world famous lanes at New Palace, lanes three and four. If you go on YouTube and search King of the Palace, you can see professionals bowling their brains out, trying to become the king of the palace, literally. And we're going to take lane four. Lots of professional bowlers have been here and Lots of high scores happen here. And I'm about to sully that, of, uh, sully that right now. As it's almost time to start sucking at bowling. I would also like to thank my friend Dave Metalla who owns this place. And don't, for those of you that live around here, don't let the fact that Lower Daniel Street scare you. This area is safe. Let's take a look at the balls. I guess the ones in Mason's weren't really that much worse off either. That's a normal thing, I guess. Overall, I see they're a little bit better. These lanes are taken care of. They may not look it on camera. In fact, I can even see that it's fairly well taken care of. You can see where all the pros have dropped their balls into the lane. And supposedly, this place, he was telling me, is more forgiving than Mason's where the last series was shot. All right, without, without further ado, it's time to start sucking at bowling. <laughs> and there's the famous restrooms you see. Frame one, ball one. Here we go. 
And we start the way we normally do. Frame two, I mean frame one, ball two. I don't even have to mention the frame, really. That one's better. And we got the four horsemen. Ball three, we got some wood out there to help us. Not a bad start. The first ball was bad, but hey, I'll take it. A 10 is a 10, and frame two, ball one. Ooh, that looks good. Yikes. Ball two, we got a piece of wood that could help us with the one in the middle. But it's veering to the side. Oh. Before we continue, I like this 50s era ball return. It screams 1950s. I like how it looks. Mason's had the late 60s, early 70s basic geometry thing. And this is the third ball. And gutter. Does not count. That's an eight. Dave is right. This place is definitely more forgiving. Anyway, we got a 10 in the first frame, which started with the traditional knockoff just one pin routine. And the second one was an eight. If that ball just stayed on the lane, it could have been a nine. Still not a bad start, but we know how things go on this show right so far at 18 i don't i don't think we're gonna beat the new high but we're not doing too bad third uh third box I, ball one got her not even zooming in on that one third frame Ball two. Well, it's gonna get hit something. Or maybe not. Final ball, nothing hit. I think we're gonna do a safety roll. Just gonna go here, aim. We skunked. Skunked. Let's not repeat that one. Fourth frame, ball one. We need a strike or a spare. And that's not gonna happen with that one. Ball two. Ah, oh, seriously? Ball three. That one's gonna do something. Not much. One, two, three, four, five, four, seven. It's only three. Wow, talk about disastrous. A zero box for number three. And the fourth frame, only a three. I will tell you just this much. There was something that I normally do that I haven't done in those two frames. And spoiler alert, it still continues. See if you can spot it. One more spoiler. Things do get better after I figure out what I did wrong. Fifth frame. Well, that's strike or spear. The record is not going to happen. Fifth frame, ball one. Yeah. Ball two. Ball 
all three. Getting skunked again. And exactly. Sixth frame, ball one. Needless to say, everything went to hell. Finally a good ball. Sort of. Ball three. And no good. Six. And we're really ruining the reputation of world famous lane number four. A zero box in number five and the one good ball that scored a six kind of has a visual hint as to what I was supposed to be doing that I haven't been since box number three. Frame seven, ball one. There's no real point. Just inside. Ball two. Finally, something good. Then that happens. We got some wood to help. Ball three. Got it. Six. Frame eight. Ball one. It's just for fun at this point. It's not too bad. Then that happened. Ball two. Ooh, that's going right for it. Starting it back into things. Ball three. Ooh, a niner. Niner? Niner. As you can see, things are getting back to normal. If you haven't figured it out, it was in boxes three, four, five, and some of six. I failed to counterbalance myself correctly. And as you can see, scores are back to normal. Six in the seventh frame and a nine for an eighth frame. Total of 42. Too little, too late, but we'll take it. All right, getting back in the swing of things. I think it was because I kept the camera in the center instead of moving it to the side like I normally do that caused those skunk outs. Ball one, eighth frame, no ninth frame. Ninth, ball one. Ball two. Ooh. Now we got a diamond. Ball three. And that's gonna miss everything. Six. Final frame. Ball one. Yep, it was the fact that I was paying too much to the attention to the camera in the middle there that has cost me anything. That's a good one. And uh, that's not that that's not that good, but we have some wood that could help us if we hit it. Ball two. We got plenty of wood. We're gonna hit something. Hey, we got something. Final ball of the game. Will it? Yes. 
10. Good way to round out a rotten game. As you can see, after proper counterbalancing, the game has pretty much returned to the way it should have been from the get-go. If I were paying more attention to the game instead of making sure the shot looked good, the scores wouldn't be so low. Anyway, 9 box is a 6 and I got a 10 on the 10th. Final score of 58, which is pretty bad, but considering how I screwed everything up from the beginning, well, that's just how it is. And that concludes the very first episode of Watch Me Suck at Bowling from the new Palace Lanes, Fitchburg, Massachusetts, sullying the reputation of Lanes 3 and 4, known for their high scores in competition. Georgia551 says, hope you enjoyed and have a good one.